This Friday, 7 to 11 Eastern. On March 19th, the Sci-Fi Channel presents four new reasons to leave reality behind. And now's your chance to get inside the new world of Sci-Fi 2.0. As Yahoo and the Sci-Fi Channel present the This is Sci-Fi 2.0 sweepstakes. You could win one of four grand prize trips to incredible sci-fi destinations around the world. Enter now at tv.yahoo.com or send a postcard. Sci-Fi 2.0. Experience the upgrade on the Sci-Fi Channel. Do you, uh, Yahoo? Yahoo! Connect with Sci-Fi Entertainment Magazine. Acquire. Analyze. The only magazine from the world's only network dedicated to science fiction. Catch up. Clarify. Imagine the future. Redefine your boundaries. Escape into a world of infinite possibilities. Define. Discover. Discover the secrets of Hollywood's top movie makers. Evaluate. Explore. Meet the creators who turn fantasy into reality. Call 1-800-77-SCI-FI now. Receive. Reveal. Understand the story. Uncover the truth. Acquire the knowledge. One year, nine incredible issues at one low price. Call now to subscribe at 1-800-77-SCI-FI or make the connection on the internet at scifi.com. Sci-Fi Entertainment Magazine. The Authority. them all to worship in his theater of doom beginning Monday at 9 p.m. Eastern. Now, for the first time on television, the best of Star Trek, an exciting new collection of original themes from all four of the Star Trek television series. Plus, this one-of-a-kind album also includes a specially created suite from a popular episode of each series. This exclusive offer also includes the original motion picture soundtrack from the number one hit Star Trek First Contact. This superb enhanced CD comes with a deluxe booklet, a movie poster magnet, and exclusive behind-the-scenes interviews. This incredible offer is available right now. Two CDs, only $24.98. Two cassettes, just $19.98. To order by credit card, call 1-800-652-4242 or send $19.98 for two cassettes or $24.98 for two compact discs. Plus $3 shipping and handling to The Best of Star Trek, PO Box 4951, Omaha, Nebraska. Fun, easy, inexpensive, and ingenious. That's what coaches and experts say about solo tennis. Improves all tennis skills. Form, timing, speed, confidence, strength, and endurance. How does it work? Just hit the ball and Solo Tennis will return it to you every time. Who can play? Anyone of any age. 
Simple enough for a novice, yet challenging enough for an expert. Where can you play? Anywhere. No backboard or tennis court is needed. Solo tennis is a fun, exciting game you can play anytime. Tennis USTA magazine says, Take full natural strokes and the ball comes back to you every time. Inside Tennis magazine calls it simple yet innovative. Solo tennis, called the best invention in 20 years by World Tennis magazine, is now available for only $19.95 plus shipping and handling. For fast delivery, just call the toll-free number on your screen. Solo tennis comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Order yours today. On March 19th, the Sci-Fi Channel presents four new reasons to leave reality behind. And now's your chance to get inside the new world of Sci-Fi 2.0. As Yahoo and the Sci-Fi Channel present the This is Sci-Fi 2.0 sweepstakes, you could win one of four grand prize trips to incredible sci-fi destinations around the world. Enter now at tv.yahoo.com or send a postcard. Sci-Fi 2.0. Experience the upgrade on the Sci-Fi Channel. Do you, uh, Yahoo? Yahoo! Everywhere you look in town, there's another cyborg. When a crime wave paralyzes the city. The result is the mad dog killer who thinks he's God. Now this city's all mine. <laughs> a cyborg superhero makes a comeback. Eight man's back. It's not like he's real hard to recognize. He's got that weird outfit with a giant eight on his chest. A one-man crime fight machine. Batteries not included. But sometimes vengeance overtakes technology. Look what you've done, you monster! Who's so I think I may be losing control. Glitch in the system. Glitch in the system. So much for the perfect cyborg. Eight Man After. Next on the Sci-Fi Channel. you didn't know yourself until then. Was that why you vanished forever? Because the shock of discovering you were a cyborg and not a man was just too much to live with. Yes, what is it? Just a reminder, sir, you're meeting with a campaign planning committee in 10 minutes. Right. And who are you? Yokogawa, Public Relations Department. If you have a minute, sir, I think you might want to see these numbers from our latest tracking poll of registered voters. They're quite encouraging, sir. What do you think of my chances? If I decide to take the plunge and run for mayor. Who? Me, sir? Well, I've never been very good at predicting politics or football. But personally, I think you'd make a fine mayor. I'd certainly vote for you. I love this city with all my heart. That's why I can't bear to witness what's happened to it. 
Drug peddlers everywhere. Whole districts abandoned to criminals. Corruption spreading like a cancer. More than a businessman, I'm a dreamer. And this model is my dream, my vision of a revitalized city that's safe and clean and whose citizens need never again live in fear. got a hyphen in the wrong place. You're the boss's secretary? Actually, I'm in public relations. <gasps> so I'm paranoid. You're a policeman, aren't you? I bet you hate cops, right? No. In fact, I once knew a policeman. Me? I've got no use for him. waiting for you, sir. Mm -hmm. huh? Excuse me, but you can't wait here. You'll have to make an appointment. Won't take a minute. Mr. Daigo, I presume? Mr. Daigo can't see you now. Get out of here. What is he? Blind? I see him fine. Oh, a tough guy, is that it? Well, we'll see how tough you really are. Hold your horses, pal. <laughs> Why make things difficult? From your manners, I assume you're a policeman. Well, speak up, man. What is it that you want? Eddie Schmidt, does the name mean anything to you? Doesn't ring a bell. What makes him so interesting? He's a wanted man. But for years, he's worked here at your company, so I thought you might have an idea where he went to. <laughs> you might try the personnel department. This firm has hundreds of employees. I can't be expected to keep tabs on... He wasn't all... just an employee. He was a very talented researcher. You heard what I said. I bet this guy's a real joy to work for, huh? I'll notify security, sir. You remembered. So come on. Oh, I don't... You want to ride or not? I'm holding up traffic. Oh, why not? Okay. What were you doing there at Biotechno? A missing persons job. Some egghead scientist disappeared. I thought your boss might have some leads since the guy used to work for him. If you're not a policeman, then what are you doing it for? 200 a day, not including expenses. You're a private eye? Bingo. Don't worry. I don't know what you've heard about us. But I'm clean. Ask your buddy the cop or anyone in the department. Anyone. They'll vouch for me. I uh, knew a private detective once many years ago. You don't say. Well, sister, you've certainly had some unusual friends. Take me to the research lab on South Street. Sure. No sweat. I'll be there at 7, if you want some company. Hey! Are you trying to kill us? If I'd wanted to fly, I'd have ordered a chopper. Sorry about that, Uncle Tanaka. I, I mean, I mean, Chief. Keep your eyes on the road. Watch out! <laughs> Ichiro, I'm beginning to regret I ever suggested you join the police force. But, sir, I... Just drive. We've got a crime scene to get to. I know, Chief, but I believe we're there. Hmm? All right, get going. What's the situation here? We've got a wacko pinned down in there, Chief. Any casualties? He's got some heavy artillery, at least 11 dead so far. 11? What the hell?
Chief, if you got a minute. Yes, Detective, what is it? I think you might want to take a look at this piece he's carrying. This ain't exactly a Saturday night special, if you know what I mean. My God. How the hell did you get in here? You got a cheap old lock on your door. Man, I've seen bottles of aspirin that are harder to get into than this place. Guess it's no big deal, though. You got nothing in here worth stealing anyway. Speaking of which, where'd you swipe the boombox from? I got that stereo totally legit. It was a birthday present for my dad. But don't ask me where he stole it from. So where is my old man anyway, Zam? You had three old days to find Face him. it, kid. O'Connor's probably just passed out in some alley. You could always look for him yourself, you know. I tried that. But come on, I'm just a kid. I'm not a pro. Hey, you're supposed to be the expert. Look, maybe he's gone fishing somewhere. Nah, don't give me that. He's never been fishing in his life. He gets seasick in a frickin' bathtub. I'm telling you, the man's in trouble. Hey! Hazama Investigations. Oh, good, you're there. Yeah, I just got back from the Biotechno Corporation. Nothing solid yet, but I think I ruffled a few feathers, and that's a start. Look, the situation's changed, Hazama. We need to meet. How soon can you get here? It's important. I'm on my way. Call is free. Call 1-800-239-9000. Must be 18. That's 1-800-239-9000. Now, for the first time on television, the best of Star Trek, an exciting new collection of original themes from all four of the Star Trek television series. Plus, this one-of-a-kind album also includes a specially created suite from a popular episode of each series. This exclusive offer also includes the original motion picture soundtrack from the number one hit Star Trek First Contact. This superb enhanced CD comes with a deluxe booklet, a movie poster magnet, and exclusive behind-the-scenes interviews. This incredible offer is available right now. Two CDs, only $24.98. Two cassettes, just $19.98. To order by credit card, call 1-800-652-4242. Or send $19.98 for two cassettes or $24.98 for two compact discs plus $3 shipping and handling to The Best of Star Trek, P.O. Box 4951, Omaha, Nebraska. Now you can watch a piece of history with the new WCW and WO Best of Series on pay-per-view. The Best of Series presents The Best of Halloween Havoc. This highlight compilation features a decade's worth of Halloween Havoc's darkest moments. Available throughout the month of March on pay-per-view. Guess who's three? Starts with D. Rockets fly way up high. Blow out the candles, that's what we'll do. And all our wishes will come true. Birthday wishes we wish tonight. Beam to you by satellite. Happy birthday, Dish Network, from HBO and Cinemax. Hey, you've been great. This is Sci-Fi 2.0, upgrading the Sci-Fi channel with four original series. Featuring Sliders, Jerry O'Connell and his fellow travelers keep on slipping between the cracks of reality in brand new episodes of Sci-Fi's continuing hit series. Plus, exclusive new series, Farscape, Francis Ford Coppola's First Wave, and new episodes of Poltergeist, The Legacy. Four new reasons to leave reality behind. Arriving this Friday at 9 Eastern. 
On March 19th, the Sci-Fi Channel presents four new reasons to leave reality behind. And now's your chance to get inside the new world of Sci-Fi 2.0 as Yahoo and the Sci-Fi Channel present the This is Sci-Fi 2.0 sweepstakes. You could win one of four grand prize trips to incredible sci-fi destinations around the world. Enter now at tv.yahoo.com or send a postcard. Sci-Fi 2.0. Experience the upgrade on the Sci-Fi Channel. Do you, uh, Yahoo? Yahoo! Let's go down to the lab. There's something I want you to see. Glad you could make it, Chief. I believe you know Hazama. I know him. It's been a long time. What's he doing here, Professor? You got some unpaid parking tickets? Hazama? I'm going to ask you and Chief Tanaka to cooperate on this case, if you don't mind. <laughs> don't start, kid. I'm not happy about this either. It's a bad situation. <laughs> Professor, what's this all about? There's been a new development in the Eddie Schmidt disappearance case. I was afraid something like this might turn up. Here, take a look. We took it off Crazed Dex cop on a shooting spree. My worst fears have been realized. It's clear Schmidt has wasted no time putting the information he stole to use. And the only way to fight his cyborgs is to create one of our own. This monster killed 14 innocent people. He put six more civilians and seven of my best officers in the hospital. We've had our troubles with bad cops before, but never anything even approaching this. God only knows what made him go off the deep end like that. He was like an animal out there. Could mean some bad PR for the force. Go to hell! You think I care about that? Of course not. Professor, you hired me to find Schmidt and recover any documents he might have stolen. So that's what I'm gonna do, and I won't need any police help. Hang on a minute, mister. You were at the Biotechno Corporation today, weren't you? So what did you find out there? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't give me that. We got a call from their security guy saying somebody in a green Citroen and a shabby overcoat tried to break in. Security? They figured you for some kind of terrorist out to kidnap the boss. You got him real upset. Keep in mind, kid, if I want to, I can revoke your license at any time. If you don't play ball, I will. Thanks for the warning. I mean it, Hazama! Well, Chief, it was a good idea. He would have to be the one guy on Earth that I get stuck with, but that's the sort of luck I've got. I'm jinxed! I agree. This place is like a funeral home. Bad choice. Come on. I know a place. Now, isn't this better? Much. You seem much more comfortable here. You're right. Never even been to that other place. Why do you choose it, then? I don't know. The matchbook was handy. Did you ever think that I might not come out tonight? No. Oh, confident, aren't we? Gotta be. Comes with the territory. So you always play the tough guy. The last private eye I knew was at least occasionally human. No way. Must have been an imposter. Far from it. Everyone said he was great at his job. He had a lot of friends on the force. Hmm. That's more than I have. So what happened to this paragon of virtue? He died a long time ago. When are you going to tell me about this case? I assume that's why you arranged this rendezvous. That had something to do with it, yeah. Ever seen this man before? Should I have? Who is he? Eddie Schmidt. So what'd he do? Steal something? Or does he owe you money? No. It's industrial espionage, isn't it? He stole company secrets, right? Well, I won't say that you're wrong.
Thanks a lot for dinner. I'll see you around. Hey, you really mean that? Can we do this again? Sure. Going to do what? Now oh, wait a minute, Professor. You sure about this? Oh! Huh? You all right? It's you, Ichiro. Yes, ma'am. Just thought I'd look in on you. Where are they keeping him? Is he okay? If you mean that private investigator, he's in intensive care. Hey, stop uh, that! You're not supposed to get out of bed. But I have to see him. Sorry, the doctors won't allow visitors. Oh God, is he gonna be all right? He's going to make it. Chief. He is? You mean it? Well, he won't be jumping off any tall buildings for a while. He's been transferred from the ICU into a specialist's care, but the main thing is he's out of danger. Guess you're pretty relieved to hear that. <gasps> How about getting some sleep, okay? There's nothing more anyone can do tonight. Hey, Chiro, the same goes for you. Go home and go to bed. I'll have someone relieve you. Right, Chief. I'm on my way. Ma'am, I'll look in on you again tomorrow. Hmm, what are the odds of this happening twice to the same girl? How did I ever let you talk me into this? Look, if he's not in his office, I'm taking you right back to the hospital, ma'am. If the chief ever found that I did this, I could lose my badge. I know, and I'm grateful. I can't believe the hospital already discharged him. Not with the injuries he had. It is odd. But who knows? It could be his injuries weren't as bad as they seemed at first. Hey! You just hit a squad car! Are you nuts? No sign of him here. They probably just transferred him to another hospital or something, so let's go. You must be right. It was silly to think he'd be up and around already after the fall he took. Okay, let's go. You just leave everything to me. 
Soon as I get back to the station, I'll start checking out every hospital in town. Shouldn't take me long to find them. <clears throat> hey, I was sleeping. What's up, Sam? A man, did you forget your keys or something? Oh, my God, cops! <clears throat> Oh, oh, you guys saved my life. I haven't had a decent meal since my old man took off. Give me a break, you little oh. punk. I don't want to hear some sob story about how rough your life's been. Which hospital is Hazuma being kept at? We're trying to find him. Say so what? Why the heck's Zona at a hospital? Hmm? Wait a minute. Just a second ago, you said you knew where we no. could find him. I know the bars and clubs where you might have been able to find him. But if he's in the hospital, that's different. No wonder I haven't seen him around. Okay, kid, how about this? How about I bring you in and book you for breaking and entering? Come on, officer, I'm only a kid. Hurry up, get in! Quick the area, not one of them gets away! This looks like more than a turf war. They're the same as that monster that attacked me. For a cop, you sure don't know much. Those are cyber junkies. All the gangbangers are cutting off arms and legs and replacing them with cyborg parts. You gotta be kidding me. You seem to know a lot about it. Why is that? Hey, relax. I just hear things, that's all. Go! Yo, Zama, we know you're in there. So what now? Don't worry. It won't be long before backup arrives. We'll just hang tight until then. What do you mean? I don't know. It's like there's somebody else here. What's going on? Hey, what is this? No! No! What the hell is that thing? I don't believe it. That's Ape Man, isn't it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's enough. One step closer in this chick's history. Okay. Jeez. What are you, some kind of freak? Chief, it was the ape man, all right. Yeah, I saw that guy, too. It's not like he's real hard to recognize. He's got that weird outfit with a giant eight on his chest. You get serious. The ape man? Hey, we are serious, Pops. It was him. <sighs> They're right. It's hard to believe, but could it be possible that Azuma-san might have returned to the city? Azuma-san? What's he have to do with it? I uh, think I would have heard if anybody had seen him. When Azuma disappeared, the ape man vanished as well, both on the same night, just gone without a trace. Well, you're right about that. It was kind of strange. I've always wondered about it. What did make Azuma-san just up and disappear? Well, looky here. <gasps> Sam, a man! Who the hell invited you, Hazama? Come to screw things up again? Any luck finding Tony Gleck so far? 
Don't push your luck, punk. Hey, where you been hanging anyway, man? Next time, give a call or something. You had me So worried. you're all right? What's she doing here? Don't tell me this is the way you guys protect your witnesses. Why look at me, pal? That's not my job. No, you're too busy covering up for cops like Tony Gleck when they go haywire. You! It wasn't their fault. I forced Ichiro to let me go along for the ride. That was stupid. It could have been your last ride. Why don't you give her a break, Hazuma? The only reason she did it was because she was concerned about you. She was trying to find you. Yeah, take it easy, my man. He does have a point, though. Until your assailant's been captured, it's probably not smart for you to be out and about. So tell me, where do we go from here? Listen, Buster, it seems to me the only reason I got caught up in this mess is because of you. So unless you're a complete cad, you ought to be responsible for protecting me. Listen, Sachiko, get out of there and come with us. We're the only ones who can ensure your safety. No offense, but unless I'm mistaken, it was one of your boys that put a knife to my throat and tried to kill me. Hmm? Look, Sachiko, that's not fair. Sam, aren't you forgetting something? I'm sorry, kid, but finding your old man's gonna have to wait. That's just plain typical. Dump me like a sack of garbage. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead and get yourself killed. See if I care. With Azama involved, there's bound to be trouble again. Yes, I know. Why's that, Chief? Who is he? Where you been, rookie? That guy killed three police detectives a couple years back. What? Not to mention the four others he whacked. You're saying he killed seven detectives? No, four of them were hired goons of an underground crime boss. We think the three cops were on the boss's payroll, too. Now, hold on a second, Chief. That's just his story. It was never proven that those detectives were dirty. No, it wasn't. The inquest's findings were inconclusive. Is that why he's got such a grudge against the police department? They murdered the man's fiance while they held him down and forced him to watch. Not the type of thing that you forgive and forget easy. The dead, the damned, the demonic, and the defiant. I am the weaver of nightmares. The WWF's high priest of pain, the Undertaker. <gasps> welcomes them all to worship in his theater of doom. Beginning Monday at 9 p.m. Eastern. Are you ready for a real psychic reading? Then don't be fooled by all those phony psychic hotlines you see on TV. There is only one American Association of Professional Psychics. This is the one that is registered with the U.S. government and guaranteed authentic. So come on, experience the difference of a real psychic reading. Call 1-800-228-0220. The call is free. Call now. Start making new friends and relationships tonight. Just pick up the phone and call the hottest new meeting place around, The Party Zone. You don't need a fancy computer to meet great new people. Just pick up your phone and dial 1-800-776-5700 to go one-on-one -on -one with attractive singles from around the corner or around the country. It's so fun and so easy. Get into the zone. Call 1-800-776-5700. This call is free. Must be 21 or older. Now, for the first time on television, the best of Star Trek, an exciting new collection of original themes from all four of the Star Trek television series. Plus, this one-of-a-kind album also includes a specially created suite from a popular episode of each series. This exclusive offer also includes the original motion picture soundtrack from the number one hit Star Trek First Contact. This superb enhanced CD comes with a deluxe booklet, a movie poster magnet, and exclusive behind-the-scenes interviews. This incredible offer is available right now. Two CDs, only $24.98. Two cassettes, just $19.98. To order by credit card, call 1-800-652-4242 or send $19.98 for two cassettes or $24.98 for two compact discs plus $3 shipping and handling to The Best of Star Trek, P.O. Box 4951, Omaha, Nebraska. You're watching Saturday Anime on the Sci-Fi Channel. The new Encore is now bigger and better than ever with recent big hit movies like Super Cop. And as always, Encore is uncut and commercial free. There's only one thing I like better, other people's money. 
Encore. The movies of your life. Sundance Channel. Not what you expect from TV. This is super fantastic. Bringing you the best of new independent film. Call now to order Showtime Unlimited for $10.99 and get a Dish Network birthday there free. From here, it looks like a picture postcard, doesn't it? So pretty and peaceful. I forget what a cruel, violent place the city can be. Huh. Sounds like you've been living a sheltered life. You should get out more often. What? Sorry. Look, I'm sorry about all of this. I never meant for you to get mixed up in it. Now, thanks to me, it seems like you're a target, too. That man in the photograph, Eddie Schmidt, what's he supposed to have done? He walked out of a government research center with a bunch of top-secret documents and cyborg technology. And I'm supposed to get him back. Very hot stuff, this cyborg business. It was developed for medical purposes. You know, prosthetic devices and artificial limbs, stuff like that. And now? Now it's being used to turn every street punk into a one-man army. Problem is, they found that the human brain requires huge doses of stimulants to keep up with any cyborg implant. Like drugs, you mean? Right. A potent little number called cybomechamine that has the unfortunate side effect of stimulating sociopathologically aggressive behavior and giving whoever's using it an overwhelming sense of invulnerability. You see, I've done my homework. Anyway, the result is a mad dog killer who thinks he's God. So why didn't you tell me this before? Well, it's not the sort of thing that comes up on a first date. And you think the company's involved? Isn't biotechno heavy into pharmaceuticals and cyborg development? I can't believe it. You're saying the corporation I work for is running a black market in robot implants and mind-altering drugs and selling them to killers like that crooked cop Tony Gleck? If this is true, it's got to be someone working on his own behind management's back. You've got to let me help you in your investigation. Forget it. You don't want to be involved. I'm already involved. If somebody at my company is really responsible for this mess, I want to help you nail them. I understand a new cyborg has appeared on the scene. Someone calling himself Eight Man. You should have seen the way he mopped up that gang of cyber junkies. Bet you'd like to add him to your toy collection, huh, Mr. Halloween? You're very clever, Tony. I'm depending on you to help me. That's my job. But first, there's one little thing we need to discuss. Yeah, what's that? Why is that private detective Hazama still alive? Trust me, there's no way that pencil neck survived that fall. Somebody's been feeding you a line of bull, Chief. I know for a fact that he's as alive as you, Tony. Maybe more so. I recognize your abilities. You're very valuable to me, Tony. That's what makes your failure all the more disappointing. Who put you back together, Tony? More than that, who rebuilt you better than ever? I created that machine that is your body, and I hate it when one of my machines has to be recalled for repairs. It makes my work so much more difficult. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Use your head. This isn't some abandoned warehouse you can just pick a lock and walk into. Without me to cover for you, you won't even get past surveillance. Lady, you're out of your mind. But I've got to admit, I really admire your spunk. Marcos Advertising. We're just picking up a couple of marketing reports. Name? Hashiba. Proceed. So, do you like the decor in my office? 
I think they call this style early utilitarian. <gasps> nice catch. Wait for me in the car, will you? You don't think it'll look suspicious if I leave on my own? I won't take long. Sam and the John. Oh, don't be such a show-off. You don't even know the password. Oh, really? Stand aside. Just stick to the classified stuff. Are you kidding or what? I can't access that. Only the top brass have that password. Okay, let me see what we've got. I wouldn't mind a cup of coffee. All right. Watch yourself, it's gas. Hold your breath. That's 1-800-239-9000. It's a termite stampede. Fear not, my wood friends. There's a new sheriff in town. The Orkin Man. Yeah, it's roundup time. Got termites. Call Orkin for a free inspection and guaranteed protection. Now, for the first time on television, the best of Star Trek, an exciting new collection of original themes from all four of the Star Trek television series. Plus, this one-of-a-kind album also includes a specially created suite from a popular episode of each series. This exclusive offer also includes the original motion picture soundtrack from the number one hit Star Trek First Contact. This superb enhanced CD comes with a deluxe booklet, a movie poster magnet, and exclusive behind-the-scenes interviews. This incredible offer is available right now. Two CDs, only $24.98. Two cassettes, just $19.98. To order by credit card, call 1-800-652-4242. Or send $19.98 for two cassettes or $24.98 for two compact discs plus $3 shipping and handling to The Best of Star Trek, PO Box 4951, Omaha, Nebraska. Start making new friends and relationships tonight. Just pick up the phone and call the hottest new meeting place around, The Party Zone. You don't need a fancy computer to meet great new people. Just pick up your phone and dial 1-800-776-5700 to go one-on-one -on -one with attractive singles from around the corner or around the country. It's so fun and so easy. Get into the zone. Call 1-800-776-5700. This call is free. Must be 21 or older. You're watching Saturday Anime on the Sci-Fi Channel. Guess who's three? Starts with D. Rockets fly way up high. Blow out the candles, that's what we'll do. And all our wishes will come true. Birthday wishes we wish tonight. Beam to you. 
by satellite. Happy birthday, Dish Network, from HBO and Cinemax. Hey, you've been great. This is Sci-Fi 2.0, upgrading the Sci-Fi channel with four original series. Featuring First Wave, Kate Foster uncovers an alien conspiracy hidden in the ancient prophecies of Nostradamus. Now he's the planet's last chance. Will he be able to decipher it in time? Plus, Farscape, Sliders, and Poltergeist the Legacy. Four new reasons to leave reality behind. Arriving this Friday at 10 Eastern. How are you doing, Mr. Mayor? Mm. You're late, Tadaka. So what's the problem today? My head's pounding and I can't breathe through my nose, but otherwise I'm fine. Oh. Oh. Any news, Chief? Could be something. My guys on the street tell me that the name Mr. Halloween keeps coming up in connection with the black market cyborg operation. Halloween, eh? Isn't he the figure behind that mysterious crime syndicate? Makes sense that he'd be part of something like this. Go easy on those. They're bad for your ulcers. Did you hear that the Black Fighters football team was purchased by a corporate bigwig named Daigo? He's the head of Biotechno Corporation, right? Guess he's doing pretty well for himself. What of it? Don't you get it? It's the election. He's doing anything he can to get into the news right now. Relax. The Black Fighters stink. They couldn't dig their way out of the basement with a shovel. Ha! Huh. That may have been true in the past, but the man says he's going to rebuild them into a conference powerhouse. He's even arranged an exhibition match against the Jokers, the world champion. Ha! Huh. It'll be a massacre. And what if it isn't a massacre, eh? What if his team somehow manages to pull off the upset victory of the century and Daigo's approval rating goes through the roof, while at the same time I'm being held personally responsible for the drug-peddling hooligan suddenly flooding our streets thanks to this Easter Bunny or Mr. Hobgoblin or whatever the hell his name is? Hang on before you have a coronary. Something I forgot to tell you, eh? Eight man's back. You're joking. No joke. It's him, all right. And you and I both know there's nobody better at cleaning up the streets. Well, where is he, for goodness sake? What are you waiting for? Bring him in. I'll have my press office arrange a photo op for me shaking his hand in front of City Hall. That could be difficult. He's not the type you can really pin down. Uh, no excuses. I need this guy if I want any chance of getting reelected. Easy now, Mayor. How long do you think you'll last if I get thrown out of office? Okay, I understand. I'll do whatever you want. Uh, so you finally woke Where up. Where am I? This is my place. Selma told me to bring you here. He didn't think you'd be safe in his office. You like it? Yes, thank you. Where is Hazuma? Beats me. Just split. Never tells me where he's going. Oh. You can turn the sound up. It won't bother me. Nah, I don't want the landlord to hear it. If he knows I'm staying here, he'll hit me up for the rent money. My dad! In their current state, these files are gibberish. I'm unable to explain how that happened, Professor. I was sure I downloaded all the data before the alarm system was triggered. No doubt you did. Nevertheless, the files are encrypted. A standard security precaution. Without the key to the code, they're impossible to read. Can the code be broken? Yes, in time. A week, maybe 10 days. But never mind that. You've done good work. Take this stimulant. I think you'll be needing it. Don't worry, it's not the same substance those cyber junkies are mainlining on the street. I promise you, this won't harm you in any way. There's one more thing we need to discuss. Although your structural makeup may be entirely cyborg in nature, if I may use the phrase, your heart and soul are still those of Hazama Itsuru. If you're speaking of the man whose body now serves as my host, I can assure you, nowhere do I detect any of his emotion or feeling. That's the way it should be, and you must monitor yourself to make sure that's the way it remains. You are the perfection of cyborg technology, a living tactical weapon capable of great destruction. It's vital that you remain uncontaminated by human passions and emotions. The last ape man paid the ultimate price for forgetting that fact.
What's the matter? There was a guy running alongside. What's happening, Zan? It's about time. Where have you two been? Sorry. We just stepped out to buy tickets to the big football match. You should have seen the line. What football match is that? Hey, I finally found my old man. We went to watch a black fighters practice, but they wouldn't even let me get close to him, the jerks. What's he talking about? Sam was watching the news on television, and they showed the new black fighters football team practicing for their exhibition match. And I saw the old man right there on TV. And he was very insistent about going down to the stadium to check it all out. You didn't see him? Oh, yes, I did. He was right there on the sidelines. The lady will tell you it's true. Slow down, Sam. You know that O'Connor can't play, not after that hip injury. It was someone else, kid, a player that looks like your old man. Drop dead. Ever since I was a little boy, I've been staring at this picture of him. Jeez, I know his face better than I know mine. You don't think I'm going to recognize my own dad when I see him? Stop living in the past, Sam. You know as well as I do that after that injury, your old man could hardly walk, let alone play ball. There you are. I knew you'd show up. You really do care about Sam. Yeah. He'll be back in a minute. He just went to get something to drink. Did it ever cross your mind that I might be here because I'm on the job? What do you mean? I got a bad feeling about your boss. You don't honestly believe that Mr. Daigo is behind it. Well, you couldn't be any more wrong about that man. He's an honorable person who cares very deeply about this city. I mean, look what he's done with this team. He's putting something back into our community. He's getting people excited again. Who knows? Maybe you're right about it. Gentlemen, the people of this city have wanted a winning team for a long time. And thanks to me, they're about to get what they want. It'll revitalize their spirits. And it can't help but boost the economy. So drink up. By the time they win the championship, we should have ourselves a new mayor. <laughs> Come and get it. Just what the doctor ordered. Don't forget to take your vitamins, boys. We really want you playing your hearts out tonight. No, Tony, you made Mr. Halloween extremely upset. I'm okay, just make sure you don't screw up your part of the plan. That's my dad, all right. Look there, number 55. Hey, Sam, wait a minute. Get back here. Huh? And where do you think you're going? He's down there. You saw him yourself. Dad, it's me. Hey, Dad, over here. Over here. No, no, this way. Where are you going? Put, put, put. Get out of here! 
They've all gone insane. That's what I call a game. Push them back! Push them back! <laughs> Push them back harder! $239,900. Must be 18. That's 1 800 239 Love to snack on chips but hate the fat and calories. Enjoy dried fruit but not the price. Want homemade snacks but dehydrators cost too much and make you wait days? Introducing the Quick Minute Dehydrator. It's so easy. Just simply slice, place on heat sheets, stack the racks, microwave a few minutes and enjoy. Delicious! The secret is space age technology that allows the microwaves to flow through the racks, penetrating the heat sheets that turn your microwave into a dehydrator. Enjoy gourmet dried apples, bananas, kiwi, and more at a fraction of the cost. Make delicious sun-dried tomatoes in minutes. Look at the fat and calories in packaged chips. Now enjoy fat-free chips. Just slice, then stack, microwave, and snack. Add cheese for a zesty nacho flavor. Make sweet potato chips for a delightful difference. Dry herbs for sensational seasonings. Enjoy nutritious beef jerky. Outstanding. Look, it's also a candy maker. Nothing tastes better than homemade. Make fruit strips that kids crave. Awesome. Clean 
cleanups a snap. Just wipe or put in the dishwasher. Order Quick Minute Dehydrator for only $19.95 and get a third tray plus our instruction recipe booklet free. But wait! You also get the special slicer and gripper as a bonus. Slice potatoes, apples, cucumbers, shred cheese, it even grates. And we're not done yet! Order now and get the stacking five tray storage system free. The interlocking trays seal and store your food and so much more. They even come with a serving bowl and their freezer, microwave, and dishwasher safe. Order now and get three racks and heat sheets, our recipe booklet, the slicer and gripper, plus the stacking storage trays, all for only $19.95. Order now. Call 1-800-358-7250 to order your Quick Minute Dehydrator. If you order now, you'll receive the special snack racks with special heat sheets, the recipe booklet, the slicer and gripper, and the stacking five-tray storage system, all for only $19.95. So call 1-800-358-7250. When was the last time you really got excited? <coughs> Feels pretty good, doesn't it? You talking to me? Well, that's what you get with the Movie Channel Marathons. Every single day, we got a bunch of movies with something in common. The more the merrier. Usually something weird. And this month's no exception. In March, look for the freaked out father, civilians playing cops, and the man they call Bean. And the wild and crazy guys marathon. Remind yourself why you like her. Really like her. Really, really like her. In the starring Sally Field Marathon. The fireworks fly when some of today's hottest stars meet some of today's creepiest critters in the TMC Sci-Fi Marathon. You want to see something? The movie channel marathons every day, something different. The way it should be. I'm leaving. Call now to order Showtime Unlimited for $10.99 and get a Dish Network birthday bear free. in the system. Let me understand this. You're saying that my system can run amok like that? Completely independent of my free will? No. Quite the opposite. It was you who ran amok. You were the system failure. I told you before, your cyborg body is a living tactical weapon. It was originally designed for military use, but I oppose that idea, knowing as I did the unparalleled destructive power it was capable of. So I made it useless to them by implanting a behavioral circuit breaker designed to prevent that kind of thing from happening. But science is often unpredictable. Somehow, you managed to override that safety device. It was my fault? That's news to me. What was I supposed to have done? Possibly something you weren't even aware of. Some sort of trigger hidden deep in your memories. You're not making this any clearer. I think I mentioned before the problems that arise when human emotions are introduced into a cyborg system. It's to be expected that mixing the logical with the illogical leads to instability. The most carefully designed system in the world can become totally unpredictable when contaminated by emotion. Something inside of you made the cyborg overreact. It's not your fault. Neither of us knew that this was going to happen. Nor can we predict when it will happen again. Glitch in the glitch in the system. Glitch in the system. It's not your fault. Neither of us knew that this was going to happen. Nor can we predict when it will happen again. All right, drop it. I know how you must feel, kid, but put the gun down. Nobody gave you the right to play judge, jury, and executioner. Tony! Hold it!
even human anymore? Come on, Dad, what's happened to you? Don't you even recognize me a little bit? That really you, Sam? What's the deal? What's going on? Been looking for you. Let's go home now. Where? How did I... Dad, what's wrong? Hazuma, thank goodness you're here. You're all right? I thought you were caught in that riot. I'm worried about Sam. Have you seen him? Was he with you? He hasn't come back yet. No. I wish somebody would tell me what this is all about. I've never felt so helpless in my life. And who is that other ape man? And what's he doing here? He was more frightening than any of those berserk football players. The ape man I knew was a good and gentle man. But this one, I've never seen such hatred. His eyes, they were full of blood and pain. <gasps> it's gonna be all right. He just needs a little rest. Jeez, look what they've done to him. They cut off his arms and legs. <laughs> when I find out who did this to my old man, they're gonna pay. What the hell do you think you're doing? He's liable to go nuts without his daily fix of cybomechamine. Even so, is that really needed? I don't like tying him up, but I can't take any chances. <laughs> it's like a nightmare. I don't know why you're doing that to him. It's the ape man that ought to be tied down. <laughs> Stinking robot freak! You saw him, he was gonna kill my dad! He's the one that went nuts! He's the monster! <laughs> An experiment? What do you mean? Someone's trying to build the perfect cyborg. O'Connor and the rest are just steps in the process. Like guinea pigs, you mean? Who would do such a thing? Mr. Halloween, maybe. Mr. Halloween, huh? I've read about him. Isn't he some kind of crime boss? Just the biggest crime boss in town. And the police haven't a clue who he really is. So what makes you think he's behind it? It's how he works. Supposedly, he's got a thing for toys and puppets. He collects them, and cyborgs are about the hottest toys around right now. They're human beings turned into playthings, a private puppet army. The only problem is they can't function for long without their cybomechamine, and eventually that stuff turns their brains into jelly. Is that true of the ape man? That'll never happen to the ape man. <laughs> I mean, the guy's a machine. He may short circuit every once in a while, but he's no cyber junkie. That's 1-800-239-9000. Hey, listen up. Know how you love the great flavor of extra sugar-free gum? Now the flavor lasts longer than ever. So you can enjoy more of life's little extras. Like extra mileage, extra any, even extra credit. And the flavor will last right through. Extra's flavor now lasts so long, it may even attract some extra attention. So take any extra steps you need to try extra. Why? Now the flavor you love lasts longer than ever. It's a too much stampede. Fear not, my wood friends. There's a new sheriff in town. The Orkin Man. Yeah, it's roundup time. Got termites. Call Orkin for a free inspection and guaranteed protection. You are now entering the Party Zone, a new 36-song collection of today's hottest dance tracks. I'm looking for a new love, baby. Oh, oh, Sheila, let me love you to the morning comes. Oh, baby, I think I love you from next to the Call toll-free now for the Party Zone. Cassettes, 19 dollars CDs, 26 dollars Call now. 
Start making new friends and relationships tonight. Just pick up the phone and call the hottest new meeting place around, the Party Zone. You don't need a fancy computer to meet great new people. Just pick up your phone and dial 1-800-776-5700 to go one-on-one with attractive singles from around the corner or around the country. It's so fun and so easy. Get into the zone. Call 1-800-776-5700. This call is free. Must be 21 or older. The only sports show that delivers more than the score is Real Sports. The best sports show on television. With the best reporters in the field, bringing you a side of sports you won't see anywhere else. No other show hits controversy this hard. No other sports program digs this deep. See why the critics are hailing Real Sports as TV's best sports program. Real Sports with Brian Gumbel. More channels, more choices. To order, call 1-800-333-DISH. Hey, it's Dish Network's third birthday, and you get the gift. This month, we're giving away this limited edition birthday bear to everybody who adds one or more premium movie packages. There are four packages to choose from, and they're all commercial-free. There's HBO The Works, Showtime Unlimited, Multimax from Cinemax, and Stars Encore. Choose your favorite movie package and receive this limited edition birthday bear as your gift. Call 1-800-333-DISH to order. This is Sci-Fi 2.0, upgrading the Sci-Fi channel with four new original series. Farscape, an intergalactic epic from the Jim Henson Company and Hallmark Entertainment. Poltergeist, the legacy, prepare to face the darkness. Sliders, Sci-Fi's biggest hit, takes on new dimensions. First Wave, from Francis Ford Coppola. Four new reasons to leave reality behind. Sci-Fi 2.0, upgrading the Sci-Fi channel, arriving this Friday, 7 to 11 Eastern. Who are you? What are you doing here? Just sitting here waiting for you, Mr. Daigo. Or should I say, Mr. Halloween. Tony, what the devil? Huh? Real glad you could make it. I guess we can call this meeting to order. What's this all about? It's a meeting of the board of directors. Don't you recognize them? Jeez, you must really be losing it. I'll have your hide for this. <laughs> yeah, right. Too bad you didn't make it to the last meeting. You missed the excitement. That's when we voted you out of a job, pal. We don't think you got much of a future in this town. Not after that ball team of yours went haywire and started killing people. What? So it was you. You were behind that. You can poke that button till hell freezes over. It's not gonna work. Why? We changed the frequency. None of your gadgets work. You don't pull the strings anymore. Fact is, Mr. H, the toys are running the toy shop now. Your history and the whole board's behind me on this. Huh? No. What? What are you doing? <laughs> Ungrateful little punk! What are you gonna do? Uh, give you a little taste of what you gave us! <laughs> Take the sack of garbage to Eddie, he'll know what to do with him. Right. Listen, Doc, I don't know whose body this is anymore, mine or his. I think I may be losing control. Azuma, get a hold of yourself. I've been drinking for hours, and I'm stone cold sober. I'm not sure if that's an advantage or a disadvantage to being a robot. That's enough. There is no time for self-pity. Your work has barely begun. Once I get this data deciphered, I'm going to need your help, so pull yourself together. Anything wrong? There's something that's been bothering me. Why don't you get it off your chest? You were pretty badly injured, weren't you? That fight must have left you with a nasty scar. So what? So show it to me. After all, you were saving my life when you got it. <gasps> I 
I'm sorry. God, I must have been out of my mind. You see, I'd almost talked myself into believing it wouldn't be there. You should have been dead, yet you reappeared without a scratch. And right then, the ape man showed up. So I, I thought maybe you were him. <gasps> Are we that much alike? Are my eyes full of blood like his? Come on, Sachiko, why don't you take a good look? No! What do you think you're doing? Approach with caution, cyborgs involved. Golly, Chief, what a mess. Everywhere you look in town, there's another cyborg. Huh? The old man must be out to lunch again. Good God. I was finally able to decipher that encrypted data the eight man downloaded from their computers. It's the evidence we need to nail the Biotechno Corporation. Damn, should have known they were behind it. Now what? Any word from Hazama? I'm afraid I've completely lost contact with him. Huh? His behavior's become somewhat erratic. There are still some incompatibilities between Hazama's human consciousness and the eight man cyborg system. So that explains what happened at the football stadium. Mm. The cyborg brain I implanted should have prevented that sort of thing. But something inside him's overriding it. Some half-hidden incident deep in Hazama's memory. That's what's triggering these outbursts of violence. What incident, Professor? Wait a second, it's obvious. The murder of his sister. Whatever it is, it's a time bomb that can go off without warning. You mean it... it could happen again? Turned my old man into a machine. Mm, Sam? Dad? I'm gonna play football again. This time you and me got it made, Sam. No more worries. Ah, <sighs> man, talking in his sleep again. Like some broken record. Got his brain as messed up as his body. Ah! Hey, what the? Ah! Hey, what the hell's happening? Ah! Come on, Dad, calm down. Ah! Sam, Come on, what's happening? What are you doing? Hasama? Don't worry, it's all right. A friend gave me this stuff. Let go of him. Tony, it's Max. <clears throat> if you don't go easy on that stuff, man, someday you're gonna OD. Can it? Tiger was right. That stinking detective's still alive and he's gonna blow the whole thing. Feeling any better? Lousy. Where's Sam? He's out shopping with Sachiko. He was really relieved when you finally calmed down. In fact, we all were. Hungry? First, you better untie me. I don't want to spill any. If you promise to behave. Can't give no guarantee. Man, look at this arm. Like some kind of freak show. At least I can't feel no pain.
Do you remember that play, 12 seconds left in the final? 70 yards from the end zone, and you took the ball right up the middle. Man, you gotta ask. A guy don't forget a touchdown like that, and no one on earth thought we had a chance against those suckers. You could say that again. I must have lost a couple of hundred bucks on that game. Seems like it was yesterday. Sam was just born, and I was MVP. Best time of my life. Till I blew out my hip the following season. By the time Sam was old enough to know me, I was a washed up old gunny sack on the way out. I never gave that poor little guy anything like a normal childhood. Stop beating yourself up. Whatever you may have done, Sam still thinks the world begins and ends with you. You're wrong. I'm not the guy in all those photographs he pins on the wall. I'm nothing but a chump. I really thought I was getting a second chance at the big time. Next thing I knew, my body was a walking scrap heap and my brain was half buggy from being strung out on dope. Are you finished whining? You're not doing Sam any good by feeling sorry for yourself. <laughs> Maybe. But I'm just not perfect like you, eight man. Hmm? You know, when you were holding me down earlier, I couldn't budge an inch. Took more than normal strength to do that. Sorry, O'Connor, but you're way off. If you are the eight man, promise me you'll look after my kid. Will you? Listen, if you're worried about me telling anyone, forget about it. Your secret's safe with me. But you gotta help me. I don't want that kid growing up all alone in this stinking hellhole. God! Please, man, tell me you'll do it. All units in the vicinity of Midtown converge on the Biotechno Corporation Tower. Apprehend suspect, Daigo, also known as Mr. Halloween. the world? Mr. Daigo, I'm here to arrest you on charges of racketeering and selling cybomechamine. That does it. Take him down. It's Hero! Eight man! It's about time. Get your men out of here. There's a bomb inside him. There's a what? Everybody outside! <laughs> Hurry up, Ichiro! <laughs> your hide for this, Tony. <laughs> Tony, you know what happens to people who betray me? They die! Eight men. <laughs> is free. Call 1-800-239-9000. Must be 18. That's 1-800-239-9000.
16 years ago, the Viking spacecraft took this amazing picture of the planet Mars. Do you see a face? NASA says you're seeing a trick of light and shadow. Science writer and former NASA consultant Richard C. Hoagland says NASA is hiding the truth. Now, for the first time, see and hear secrets about the existence of extraterrestrial life that have been guarded behind the closed doors of NASA. In the important video, The Monuments of Mars, A Terrestrial Connection, see the amazing similarity between this face on Mars and the ancient Sphinx in Egypt. Learn what connects this part of the Martian landscape called Sidonia and this countryside near England's mysterious Stonehenge. Hear and see other scientific evidence that we have been visited by beings from other worlds. Order The Monuments of Mars, A Terrestrial Connection, a 90-minute video for 1995. Act now to receive your personal copy. Now, for the first time on television, the best of Star Trek, an exciting new collection of original themes from all four of the Star Trek television series. Plus, this one-of-a-kind album also includes a specially created suite from a popular episode of each series. This exclusive offer also includes the original motion picture soundtrack from the number one hit Star Trek First Contact. This superb enhanced CD comes with a deluxe booklet, a movie poster magnet, and exclusive behind-the-scenes interviews. This incredible offer is available right now. Two CDs, only $24.98. Two cassettes, just $19.98. To order by credit card, call 1-800-652-4242 or send 1998 for two cassettes or 2498 for two compact discs. Plus $3 shipping and handling to The Best of Star Trek, PO Box 4951, Omaha, Nebraska. You're watching Saturday Anime on the Sci-Fi Channel. Hit the trail with Encore's Westerns Channel. You'll find the biggest stars. You just got to be the Lone Ranger. The fastest shootouts and the wildest antics from the only channel dedicated to 100% westerns. Are you with me? Commercial free, all day, every day. All right, take it easy and nobody will get killed. Discover Encore's Westerns Channel, where the legend lives. In March on Stars. <laughs> It's movies, movies, 100% movies. More new hit movies in primetime than any other movie channel. Movies that are first on stars, only on stars. Uncut and commercial free. Don't miss these great movies on stars. Hazama, are you here? Typical. Our private dick flaked out again. That guy's never around. I'm coming. What do you think you're doing? Looking for Hazama. Well, you're out of luck. He's gone out. Hey, so Tony was right. He is alive. Where do you think you're going? Don't get too excited. It's not over yet. 
Halloween may be history, but the organization's still in place. You think I don't know that? And the worst part about it is, when he blew himself up, he took all the records at Biotechno with him. So we gotta start all over. We only knew who was replacing Daigo at the top. It's Tony Gleck. Huh? Tony Gleck. I got it straight from the horse's mouth. Daigo let it slip before he took a powder. He did? Well, then by God, we'll bring him in. Hang on. What's with you, Hazama? What's happened to make you so damn cooperative all of a sudden? Seems the good professor's improved my behavior. Thanks to him, I'm an obedient little robot now. Hey, now, wait a second. If he hadn't done what he did, you'd be on a slab in the morgue now. Kid, you ought to be thanking him. He made you a damn superhero. A one-man crime-fighting machine. Batteries not included. Thanks a whole lot. What the hell do you want, sympathy? That's not what it's about. Your job's to see that justice gets done once in a while, just like the rest of us. Justice. <laughs> You're right. I should be grateful for the chance to take care of unfinished business. There's justice in that. Wait, where are you going? Where do you think? I'm gonna track down Tony Gleck. After all, that's what I'm here for. And this time, you won't be able to stop me from finishing him off. You see, Chief, now that I'm a cyborg, I'm expected to kill people. It's part of the job description, so I don't want to hear any complaining from you or the professor when the bodies start falling. Hey, Chief. Hmm? Got a call. A floater. Huh? What the... What the hell's he doing hanging around? Drop it. So what's this about? A body got fished from the river. They found him on 7th Street, but it could be the same guy who threw himself out of his window on the west side. He was a tall black male. They ID'd him as the washed-up football jock named O'Connor. Likely suicide. Anything you want us to do about it? Find a couple of spare patrolmen and check it out. Right. Huh? Look, Sam. They got him. They got him. Heart's still beating. He's alive? Cool! How'd it happen, Sam? The two cyborgs came barging into the place looking for you. Dad and me tried to stop them, but what could we do? Those guys were bad. What happened to Sachiko? My head is starting that crazy pounding again. When are you gonna replace my brain, Eddie? Am I talking to a wall here? Yeah, snap out of it, Tony. Is the cyborg mechanine giving you amnesia as well as a bad temper? I've already told you about a thousand times. There are two reasons why I can't do that. Remember? Remember what the reasons are. Tell me again. All right. First, I don't have a cyborg brain to give you. They don't grow on trees, you know. Second, it wouldn't do any good. Your body would still be a mess. Of course, you could always become a stationary system like me. Then you wouldn't need any stimulants. I don't think so. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 don't get excited, Tony. It was a bad idea, okay? You're a hands-on kind of guy. I know that. No, it seems to me, after careful deliberation, that the ape-man is your only option. I suppose even you have heard of him, the most perfect cyborg ever created. And don't start sulking, you come in a very close second. But he does have one thing you don't. An artificial neurological implant to go with his body. I worked with a professor who developed it. I would heard that it had been locked up in the vaults of the Defense Department. What a pleasant surprise to see it out roaming the streets. What's all that got to do with me? And in English, Eddie. I'm talking a cyborg brain, Tony. That's the only thing that separates him from the lesser species of cyborgs such as yourself. You'd be the ape man if you had one. Well, what's stopping us from taking his? Precisely my thought. But it'll do us no good if it's damaged. Get it here in one piece and I can make the transfer. Me, the ape man. <laughs> Who would have thought? I kind of like the sound of that. <laughs> Max and Chen have returned. <laughs> hey, Chen, give me a shot. Sure, but no hanky panky now. Don't worry. How about a taste, honey? This stuff will take you straight to heaven. And you don't have to grow any wings to get there.
Dad. Dad's gonna be all right. He's okay! Yeah. Your old man's a pretty tough customer. Right on! Yeah! Ha! This is the weirdest hospital I've ever seen. But whatever works, works. Hey, you taking off again? Right. And listen, Sam, the fact that they're holding Sachiko hostage, nobody's to know that. Not the professor and not your old man. Let me come. I'm sorry, but this is one piece of business that I've got to take care of all by myself. No offense, Sam. Take Aww. care of your dad, huh? Hey, how's he doing, Professor? He's stable. Where's he going? Uh, uh, some errands, I think. I'm not really sure. Ah, some errands. Anyway, can I see my old man now? Of course, but be careful not to disturb him until he gets his strength back. Gotcha. I don't mean to interrupt, Sam, but are you absolutely certain you don't know where Hazuma went? Hey, come on, Professor. I'm just a punk kid. Zama never tells me nothing. Huh? Dad? Sam. Careful, Dad. Sam, need some water. Sure, go ahead. There's a faucet at the end of the hall on the right. You sit tight. Be back in a second. That's quite a boy you have there, O'Connor. I should be dead by now. No way I should have survived that. No way. What is this place, some kind of a hospital? Yeah, something like that. Anyway, you're the man I gotta thank for saving my life. Actually, it's that remarkable son of yours you should thank. He pulled you from the river. <clears throat> Listen, Doc. I got the kid out of the way because I wanted to ask you something. I'm no fool. I know what's happening. This body's so full of dope, it's falling apart. So tell me, Doc, how much time I got? Start making new friends and relationships tonight. Just pick up the phone and call the hottest new meeting place around, the Party Zone. You don't need a fancy computer to meet great new people. Just pick up your phone and dial 1-800-776-5700. To go one-on-one -on -one with attractive singles from around the corner or around the country. It's so fun and so easy. Get into the zone. Call 1-800-776-5700. This call is free. Must be 21 or older. Fun, easy, inexpensive, and ingenious. That's what coaches and experts say about solo tennis. Improves all tennis skills. Form, timing, speed, confidence, strength, and endurance. How does it work? Just hit the ball and solo tennis will return it to you every time. Who can play? Anyone of any age. Simple enough for a novice, yet challenging enough for an expert. Where can you play? Anywhere. No backboard or tennis court is needed. Solo Tennis is a fun, exciting game you can play anytime. Tennis USTA Magazine says, Take full natural strokes and the ball comes back to you every time. Inside Tennis Magazine calls it simple yet innovative. Solo Tennis, called the best invention in 20 years by World Tennis Magazine, is now available for only $19.95 plus shipping and handling. For fast delivery, just call the toll-free number on your screen. Solo Tennis comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Order yours today. You are now entering the Party Zone, a new 36-song collection of today's hottest dance tracks. I'm looking for a new love, baby. Oh, oh, Sheila, let me love you to the morning comes. Cassettes 1998, CDs 2698. Call now. I'm here. I'm live. This call is free. Call 1 800 239 9000. 
You must be 18. That's 1-800-239-9000. Upgrade this is Sci-Fi 2.0, upgrading the Sci-Fi channel with four original series featuring Farscape in a universe beyond our own, in the middle of an alien war zone, inside a living starship, in strange company, astronaut John Crichton is having a really bad day. Plus, First Wave, Sliders, and Poltergeist the Legacy. Four new reasons to leave reality behind. Arriving this Friday at 8 Eastern. Okay, you got me here. So what happens now? Over here! Over here. Last <laughs> no, over here! Come on! Where are you, Tony? Right here. You got nerve. I'll give you points for that. Plenty of nerve, but no brains. Weren't you a better dick than this? You got me now, let her go! What's the matter, Tony? You gotta hide behind a woman to feel safe? Some tough guy! Whoa, I'm getting serious deja vu. It's weird. Must have been three years ago now. You said the same thing, only it was a different woman that time. <gasps> Sweetheart, wanna hear a sad story? About how this guy's sister died. See, me and a few boys on the force had a nice little racket going. You know, a little bribery, a little drug money, just something to set aside for a retirement. Then this boy scout comes nosing around looking to shut us down. Now, we was what you call reasonable guys. So we try talking to him. We even offer him a cut of the take. More money in one lousy briefcase than he'll make in ten years. Sounds reasonable, don't you think? But Snow White here didn't want to play ball. So his sister, bang, bang. The truth hurts, don't it, pal? She'd be alive today if you'd played it differently. It was all your fault that she died. Just like it was all your fault that this happened to me. <sighs> Funny, ain't it? The way this whole world just goes spinning round and round, bringing us right back to where we were three years ago. But it's gonna be a different ending this time. Hang on to her. She'll want to watch this.
about your boyfriend. Stay back! You heard her. Come any closer and she'll end up just like the last one. What's wrong with you? Can't you hear? Hazama. Cyborg. My God. There'll be no stopping me. What's the matter, Sam? Have you lost your appetite? My dad's still the same, isn't he? What do you mean the same? I may be a kid, but I'm not dumb. He's still hooked on that cybomechamine, isn't he? I know all about that stuff. Once somebody's been turned into a cyborg, they need bigger and bigger doses just to maintain. And all the time, that stuff's eating away at their brains till finally they just go crazy. Completely wacko. That's what's happening to my dad, isn't it? No matter what you do to him, he's never gonna be the way he was. Oh, he's never gonna be my old man again. What? He's gone. Oh, oh no. I gotta find him. Sam, wait. Dad! Come back! Dad, can you hear me? Where are you? Bye, Sam. The cyborg brain. Extraordinary. Are you ready to make history, Tony? Enough talking about it. Let's do it. Hurry up, man. I want his brain in my body right now. No can do, Tony. Say what? A physical transfer is out of the question. What I can do is erase all traces of this Hazama person from the brain's memory and personality centers and replace them with yours. What are you trying to say? In essence, what I'm saying is that we're not putting him into you. We are putting you into him. You will take over the ape man's body. Wait a minute. Then what happens to me, Eddie? I can see this is confusing you. Listen carefully. You will be the ape man. I'm evicting Hazama from the cyborg brain and moving you in. What's this? Traces of someone else. An earlier ape man. <gasps> Fascinating. This cyborg was inhabited by another personality before the current occupant, somebody named Azuma-san. My god! Help him! Something's happened to Azuma-san! You're right. He's been erased from the memory. Except for his name, he doesn't exist. Sorry. So you knew that guy too, huh? You got bad luck with man, honey. Eddie, come on, pull the plug on Hasuma. The new ape man's ready to take over. Hold your horses. Give me just a second here to isolate all the memory circuits. Huh? Game's over. Over my dead body, freak. <laughs> you washed out pilot junk. Let me show you how the pros do it. <laughs> Tony! Tony, are you insane? Be careful of the computer! <laughs> hey, big guy. Don't nobody ever make me look bad in the eyes of my son. Got it! Eight man, what are you doing here? Eight man! What is it? What's the matter with you? Wake up! Freak needs stimulants. You mean dope? Oh, Connor, look out behind you! <laughs> Game's over, chum. Hang in there. 
We may still need you for special teams. My playing days are over, man. It's up to you now. Good luck. Here's what I got where you want me to put it. There's an intake on the belt buckle. Take good care of Sam. <laughs> 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 Come on, let's get this over with. No, wait! Hazama. Be careful. Tony Clark. Nothing left for me to do here. Hmm? <laughs> so, you're really leaving, man? Yeah, for the kid's sake. This city's too full of bad memories. The girl's in love with you, you know that. Not me. That was somebody else. Anytime you're ready, hot shot. All right, Sam. Hey, Chief, next time you see the professor, tell him I'm taking good care of this body of his. And tell him thanks. I'll do that.
Hey, what's up? Looks like you guys need a receptionist. This is Sci-Fi 2.0, upgrading the Sci-Fi Channel with four original series. Featuring Sliders, Jerry O'Connell and his fellow travelers keep on slipping between the cracks of reality.